Wednesday UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 164 pounds. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fight. attempt but unable to land. That is, oh man, this dude is good. He's mixing up his target, he's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Right. Counter attempt here, but a miss. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. 
good series of punches by him there. He's had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Right up the elbow by the kick tonight. That's a good strike right there. Switches to Southpaw. Takedown defense holds up. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the butt. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Good sticks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big left hand there. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from in close. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Sneaky head kick. some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful strike. Nice leg kick lands. Connects with a right. Oh, a nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pants. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, He's dancing all over his opponent's face. And he landed the right hand there. What a punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, he's throwing it over and over again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Superman punch now. 20 seconds left. Try to establish that jab. That knee. That knee hurt him. Nice kick. at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Okay, a really high good. number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking a kick out of the kick and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. A big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Checks the leg kick.
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Caught that. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful leg kick. Throw. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight, going away, and it's one of the rare instances where everything comes together. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, a huge block there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! All right, boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh, collar Ty. Lands the right hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, brutal knee to the body. It's starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. I mean, he's cutting down the size with his beautiful leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just unable to quite find that range. Yeah, he mixed it all up. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result.
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. on the front kick there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. That uppercut wins! That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Misses again with a right punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. And a nice job at least staying up. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. And that's just looking to recover. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under three minutes remain in round three. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Double hammer fish there for good measure. Trying to recover for a guard there. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Blocks the shot. Takedown defense holds up. He's able to slip the left. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice right hand. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, big punch land. What a fight. Just the way he...
chew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Untouchable. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that.